Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to load a custom ROM on the HTC MyTouch slide. If you're not already there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, so like that in the address bar, and search for how to load a custom ROM on the HTC MyTouch slide procedure. Okay, before you begin, you should have done our how to root the MyTouch slide procedure. If you haven't, click on the link there, do that procedure, and then come back to this one to continue. Okay, first thing you have to do is you have to choose a custom ROM that you want to load. So you can click on the link here to be taken to our MyTouch slide custom ROMs. Select whichever one you want. It'll bring you to the developers page. You can then scroll down and look for their download link. You can click on that, save it to your computer. Okay, now you're going to plug your phone in by USB. And then pull this down, click on the USB and make sure it's disk drive and hit done so we can transfer files. Okay, now you're going to copy the rom.zip file by grabbing it and dragging it over to the SD card. Make sure it says copy removable disk before you let go. And this way it's on the root of the SD card, it's not inside any folders. So it'll just be removable disk and then the actual rom.zip file. Do not extract it, leave it as a .zip and then we can continue. Okay, once it's done we can unplug the phone and we're going to turn it off. Once it's off, we're going to turn the phone back on by holding down volume down and power until the HBoot screen comes up. Give it a second to look for a file that it's not going to find. Then push volume down to get to recovery. Push power to select it and wait for the phone to reboot into recovery. Once you get to this screen with the exclamation point, we're going to hit volume up and power together to get the menu to come up, then volume down, and then power on apply SD card update.zip. And this should load Clockwork Mod's recovery image. Then we're going to scroll down to wipe data factory reset. Scroll down to yes to confirm. Wait for it to wipe data. Then scroll to install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. And we're gonna look for the ROM that we put on here. And once you find it, the .zip file, push power to select it. Wait for it to install the ROM. Okay, once it says install from SD card complete, we can scroll down to back. Then reboot system now and wait for the phone to reboot. Okay, once the phone reboots, you're on your new custom ROM. Enjoy. If you want to flash any other ROM, just repeat the how to load a ROM procedure with a different ROM file. And there you go. 